Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you this look inspired by Kriti Sanon that she wore on the Vogue Woman of the Year Award 2017. So if you wanna know how I rated this look, then please keep on watching. Starting off by priming my eyelids, I'm using a foundation and then to set it in place, I'm using a compact powder. Moving on to eyes, I'm using the Stila Snowy Color Palette and using this color as my transition shade. I am just applying this on the crease as a startup transition shade. Then I used this burnt orange shade and I'm applying this onto my crease. So Kriti was having very nice uh, defined crease, so I'm trying to mimic the same. So yeah, I'm just applying this onto my crease and mimic it with the transition shade. And then using this darker brown color, I'm just placing this first with a large fluffy blending brush. But then I switch onto a small a detail brush and place this color onto my crease. And also I'm dragging towards the inner like nose corner. I don't know what to say that. But I'm just dragging it inwards and then I'm blending it with the same of fluffy blending brush. Blending is the only key to get a nice black smoky eye. So I'm just blending, blending, blending. And yeah. Here I'm just blending with a cleaner blending brush. So we have a nice ombre sort of effect going on. Then I'm using this color just to lighten that crease a little bit because it was getting too dark so I'm just lighting it up with this shade. Then I'm using this Patanjali Kajal. I'm using this Kajal because this is a super smudgeable Kajal. So that's why I'm using this as my base cream shadow. So I'm applying this onto my eyelids first and then blending it with my fingers but then I switched onto a flat shader brush and just blending this color out. You could use any kajal that you prefer but I like this kajal because this is super smudgeable and it's easy to work with. So I'm using this and I'm using a mixture of both my brush as well as my fingers. And I'm just layering this kajal until I'm happy with the overall intensity of the black color. Then I'm using this matte black shade and I'm just packing that cream shadow so that it does not budge and move. So I'm just setting this with that color. Yeah. Then I'm using a mixture of black and the darker brown and I'm just blending my crease and the black shadow and I'm concentrating the brown towards the inner corner a bit because the city was having a very nice defined inner corner so I'm going to make the same and then moving on to the base I'm using a whitening foundation by the evening and I'm just applying this onto my entire base this might look too pale for my skin but this foundation do gets oxidized so yeah I'm working with it and blending it back with my fingers because this is the this, is, this works best with fingers so I'm doing the same and you can see that it has oxidized then I'm concealing my eyes using the fit me concealer in the shape of sun table and I'm just applying this underneath my eye bridge of my nose cupid's bow and chin because these were the only areas that I could see highlighted on her face and I'm just blending it out make sure that whenever you do smoky eyes conceal your eyes because you could get fallout on underneath your eyes and you also want to brighten up your under eyes so I'm just blending this out with my fingers to set those areas I'm using a whitening a powder foundation and setting all the concealer places next moving on to contour usually when we contour we contour from here till here but for this contour was only till here so we are gonna do the same and for that I'm using this brown color from the Oriflame palette and I'm just using I'm doing my contouring with a small fluffy brush because her contour was very defined and sharp so we are gonna do the same and yeah, I'm just applying this onto my cheekbones as well as my nose because 
and then I'm using this warm bronzer shade and just toning down the nose contour a little bit because it was not too harsh and then I'm just sculpting my jawline because it has a very nice defined jawline with the same bronzer shade and also bronzing up my forehead For the blush, I use this pinky blush from the original palette and apply this onto my apples of my cheeks. And I'm going quite ham with this blusher because today was having very nice pinky cheeks. And then using this highlighting shade and just highlighting the cheekbone area. I'm not going to watch my eyebrow because this was the only part that was highlighted onto the tip of my nose, which I normally don't do on the tip of my nose as well as chin. And then using this color, I'm highlighting my brow. Completing our eyes, I'm going in with the same kajal. I'm applying this onto my waterline and then using it on a smudger brush. Not smudger, a flat shader brush. I'm just smudging out my lower lash line. And then using the same brown shade, I am intensifying the inner corners a little bit and also darkening up the eyelid color. And then moving on to mascara, I use the eyes wide open mascara and apply two coats both on the upper as well as the lower lashes. I'm just setting the kajal with the matte black shade again and then using the same brown shade to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just roughly doing my eyebrows because her brows were also roughly filled so we are gonna do the same. Then I use this random brown liner. You can see that there is no name, nothing, so I could not say which brand color this lip liner is. So yeah, I'm just applying this onto my entire lip first as a base, and then I am applying the Lakme 95 Creases Matte Lipstick in the shade Toffee Nexus. And here is the final look completed. This you guys is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me and plus press the bell icon next to it so you could get notified whenever I post new videos and follow me on all of my social media and yeah I'll see you all in my next video.